trigger warning for eating disorders. When the women at the office ask what's the secret to my weight loss, I do not want to tell them. I remain silent because any reply sounds too much like the, the growling of a stomach that skipped breakfast and lunch. Tastes like endless cheesecake and chocolate chip cookies, baked falsities sprinkled with a confectionery powder I would much rather snort than eat. I want to tell them that I'm aiming for my birth weight, how my mother named her seven pound, eight ounce baby after the Arabic word for smile, and yet each laughing child I ever held inside was interred beneath discarded nourishment given life from the mouth she worked hard to feed until she couldn't keep up. Poverty struck with the backhand a father that knocked the child support out of her while living a lavish life of gluttony, watching the flesh of his flesh starve like dessert vulture circling prey, waiting to lay blame. I want to tell them about the all-you-can-eat buffet of my nightmares, where parts of my lukewarm life lay latently, latently underprepared over hot ground, waiting to be picked up, processed, bludgeoned, bloody bones so rare you can still hear the cries from the abattoir, piercing meat behind my throat with finger-sharp weapons, decapitating myself with every fat joke I choke on, each flush like a cursed nursery cry as I lay in bathroom baptismal. There's something Freudian to be said about fulfilling the development of the ego, but there is no growth. The only shrink I desire is shame and pain, sadistically sardonic sorrow that I was never meant to be satiated only to fit in. Between playground pavement cracks, hiding in stalls and fighting in Catholic school fugue and confessional booth refuge, bullies in sanctimony from teachers unbelieving of their crimes or my testimony to come home from prison every day to cupboards full of survival, snaps an objection to remedy their rejection. Forgive me, Heavenly Mother, for I have sinned. I ate. I canonize myself to pay penance with diet pill rosaries reciting Hail Mary, starved of grace, only blessed being as woman, pray for me now that mine is the last supper at the hour of my death in Eucharist hunger. If I could just sin, just one more meal, one more bite, one more prayer, one more pallbearer to my misery atop a six foot deep toilet that isn't building a body, but burying one. I reply to the women at the office with a lie. Diet and exercise. I should have said, Dying in exorcism, realizing that trigger warnings are useless in a world of bullet casings that would starve itself empty just to look like the inside of a magazine. Thank you.